Paging and segmentation is a tricky topic to get your head around. However, there are just a set of facts you can learn and get through the exam that way, quite frankly. There are two examples of memory management. That's another way of saying two ways to structure memory. We're thinking RAM most of the time here. So paging, first of all, paging splits this RAM into fixed size divisions. Basically, lots of individual pieces which are exactly the same size. And these are called, shockingly, pages. Another fact which often gets a mark in the exam is saying something like the logical divisions are the same size as the physical divisions. And if you look at this, what does that mean? Well, it means the RAM is split into these individual pages, each are exactly the same size. And when it comes time to start putting some programs and files into memory, one of the key facts about paging is they don't need to be stored contiguously. And contiguously means together in one block. Here we can see, for example, program B is split into two locations. That's fine with paging. The alternative approach, segmentation, uses variable size divisions. And these are called segments. And in this case, the logical divisions are not the same size as the underlying physical divisions. So if we were to try and visualize this, well, on the memory, there are programs and data with different sizes, and they tend to be stored contiguously. And the key benefit of segmentation is these divisions are able to grow or shrink flexibly. So if program A needs some more data, we can just increase that division without any issue. You can't do that nearly as easily with paging.